Now we're now looking back at HTML and CSS basics. As you can see, I've got Plunker open. Okay, so PLN, PLN for November, KR.co, Plunker.co. I we have our star sheets. This is part three. So this is part three of what's required from us. I'll bring across the, the sheet so we can have a look. So if we scroll down, we don't I'll close that up. Let's go and have a look. So what is what has been asked from us to do? We have been asked to to create a CSS style sheet and inside the style sheet we have to do certain things we are going to create a header a footer and a main content now inside we'll, I'm just bringing it back to the beginning for us so digital skills this is uh, HTML CSS and we're looking at creating that style sheet so click on W3 schools that's where we're going to go, W3 Schools. We can be working at the same time. We go to Learn CSS. If you have time, all the information on the left side down here, the syntax, the selectors, all that stuff you, you should be looking at, you should be familiar with, you should have tried. Um, if you want to, you can stop and just spend an hour or so or half an hour, you know, daily, or, you know, you should be going through this and just going through it checking it knowing what a selector is as you know you can see the C the css class selector the class selector uh, selects html elements to select an element specific class write the write a period as a full stop you see look dot center so we're going to have dot center we would have dot header we're going to have a, a diff dot column you know we have these selectors to actually create what we need to be creating that's what these are selectors that's what we're doing right now um, and we, we're calling for a class that's a selector okay so here we go I'm not going to go through these different ones but I am going to go to our main important one which is the website layout this is what we have to do for our assignment that we need to do now I've got two I got two screens so with my two screens I'm gonna flick across one of them so then I can pick up the information that we need uh, to to be viewing because there's a there's a sheet that we need to view and look at to know exactly what is needed from us I'm just gonna go down to what they've asked for so it's gonna be right here So that's part one. We've done that. That's about the HTML. So let's go down to part two. Uh, define CSS and what it's used for. So we we can put stuff in the HTML. We can put all the coding, and it just comes up to a lot, a lot of information that's going to go in. Especially again, you put it into every every sheet. If you're going to put background color, you're going to put a center line. You're going to put all those things instead of just defining it to one thing. It'll be a lot of information so you created a CSS a, a cascading uh, style sheet that you that is an external one so all that information gets put in there so all you have to do is a line write a line calling for the action of what you needed so that's the advantage it saves you from having so much information on one sheet yeah how would we use CSS for multiple web pages so that's how we use. That's exactly how we use it. Multiple page websites. It's keeping it uniformed. Okay. Um, we just went through what the tiles of selectors are. You saw the examples where you can actually find it. So you can go back to W3 Schools and write that information in. Use CSS to control formatting and control content structure. That's what we're going to do. Like so, we've got dot header. Dot header would have a background color. Dot header would have um, center align dot header would have a different font that's how you control it that's what they're talking about use all three CSS selectors you may not use those three but you know what try and use all those three as possible so you probably have dot header dot column dot footer you know you, you're gonna have those informations anyway uh, 
cr create a fluid layout. Now the layout means that each of the pages will look similar. They're just going to be a similar. It's a fluid link. You've got to click on one link and get to the another link. Doesn't look all the same. Do you have blue and white in your header and then on another page you've got crisscross diagonals and stuff? Is it fluid? Does it does it look matching? Is it the same? Think of the word, what they're using, the word fluid. Does it look uniformed? The answer will be yes. You're going to make it look uniform. Create a header, main container, a footer using HTML and CSS. Well, you know, we've got the HTML there. We're now using the CSS coding to be able to create what we need to do. So let's go ahead. Okay. All right. I'll bring this back across to my other side. We don't need it on this side. This is what I said. It's the CSS web layout. At first, it, it has the example of the header at the top. Then it's got the navigation bar, which we will call .nav. This will be .head. This will be .nav. This will be .main content or column. It's, a, it's for us. We can we can choose what we want to call it. Um, and the, and the footer. Now the other thing it asked for was a, a response um, to be able to make it responsive. So if you had it on the mobile phone, you'd be able to change. Well, that's information that we will take as well. We're going to take that up from here. Now, if I go to the dot header, the first one, I'm not going to click on try it yourself because we're going to need more than that information. So we got the dot header. That's the very first example. That's good. That's there. So, and that's what your header would look like. That first piece of information. If we scroll down, we get the navigation bar and on the navigation bar, we get the links. That's good because we know that we've got links already. Now we don't need to take the links because we have the links already. But let's click on try it yourself on the link section. You'll see it's giving us the header information at the same time. That's why I didn't need us to go and take the header information. So we've got the header information here and we've got the links. Now what information do we need? We've got style, box, border, um, box sizing, uh, taking it, scroll it down. We've got the header information and the top nav. Now, what I'm going to do is take from the word style, which is up here, to the bottom style, because I want all that information to go into my style sheet. So the, the closing style to the opening style, this here, all that information will go in. So I'm going to right click and copy. And I'll take that. And I'll put that in my style sheet, my style.css, placing my style here. Now, style's at the bottom, so the ending style, I'm going to make some space because I know that more information is going to go in there. So at 38 and all that's going to be free. Leave my closed style there. Can you see what's happened on the right side? Okay, so on the right side, I've got this is starting to, to, to work here because up here I have the div class.nav. Now I'm going to take that out. I'm going to take that out so you don't see, we don't have to look at that right now. Okay. And this bottom div wouldn't be in there yet. Okay. So this, this div would not be there. All right. Now this is how your own would look. It's going to have the information saying that it's the home page, it's got your links and, and so on. Now we need to look at the, the web layout. We've, we saw a quick glimpse of what it's going to look like. So we hit try it ourselves. And then on try it ourselves, scroll down. When you scroll down, you'll see your links. This is where your links will go. This, this area, this is your links. But we don't need that. And this is your header. So this is your header information. So let's start with the header information here. And then we're going to just take the top nav one as well. We just take that section of information. Don't worry about the bottom div. We know that we've got to put it in. So we'll just put this information on, let's say line 11 on our index page. So you may have a different line that's free, but it has to be underneath the body. Now this is called home page. This header is telling me that the H1 has got header written in. That's why it's coming up with header on my right side. So I can change this here now to home page. I've already got that header, so I don't need this header. I remove it. 
it's got a div class equals header that's my first call for action here and then I've got to close it so now my top is now uniformed over this side I now have the div top nav my nav has become so big and creative but here's the thing it hasn't got a closed div it didn't have a closed div because I didn't take it across because I already had the links so what I'm going to do now is close it so close that div and now that's closed now I've got now I've got what I need I'm gonna put a break here so now I've got some space I'm gonna make this work now we're gonna make it work so here on, on, I've got a space here line 22 I'm gonna make another space I'm gonna now fit in um, the next information that we need okay oh okay <laughs> so I want to create the whole of the first page before moving on to the other page to show you the fluidness of how we got to make this look. So let's just get with this information. Okay. Uh, the CSS, we go back to that. It says try it ourselves. We don't need to look at that anymore. We're going to scroll down. We get to this main content area. This main content area allows us to have a column section where we can have left, the right, and middle. I clicked on try it yourself now here's the issue I don't need left right and middle so I'm not going to take it in that form but that's what we are doing we're creating a main contact uh, content section a main container right I close my try it myself I've got too many try it myself open so I will close a few more and I will now go back to this in the example box it's already given me what information I need I've got the bottom bracket here all the way to the top I'm gonna to take the whole of that information and I'm gonna take it across I go to my C my style sheet because that was the style sheet information and then I'm gonna place that in 52 area where or I believe it was 33 and it will go down to like 57 so because that was my space area that I had available then I need to read and look carefully at what it's saying it says create three columns I don't need three equal columns I'm creating create a container that's what I'm doing I'm creating a container not a column just I'm just gonna call it created container and then that's it and I might even say create a main container that's all I have to write for that one you call it column I'm not having it that way I'm not having it going to the left I'm gonna have it going to the center okay we remove the word left we've got it at 33 we have to adjust that we are not using 33.3 we've done that three times you get three equal areas I'm gonna say 85 All right look what's happening to it when I went on the right hand side if I change that and I say 72 it will start changing even more it can change as much as it needs to okay but just make sure that we've got what we need in center it's happy with that center if they want that center let's just double check okay yeah it wants that set that different center so now we can make our changes cool that's fine then we are now changing more information here oh yeah the reason why it's not changing as much as it's supposed to change is because I haven't actually aligned it on I haven't called for the action when I call for the action inside the index then I will start seeing it move it will show me that it was changing but it wasn't actually really changing um, the response layout that's all I need it to say I don't need it to say anything more than that so let's not get carried away and keeping all this text here that we don't need just remove that text the response layout okay 6% wider than that that's all you need to have in there at 100% that's fine then go back to W schools let's see how they called for that and then we're going to take part of that information with us okay so try it yourself scroll down to the bottom until you see that word column you see it said div class equals column we'll grab that 
that's fine we know how if you don't want to grab it you can actually write it out if you know what it is go back into index where does it go it goes into my line 23 above my just below my break and it's actually below my links I'm placing it in here so line 22 or line 23 it's fine but if I've got that there I still need to close it so underneath the paragraph is where I'm going to close it now so that line and then you see it's highlighted for me telling me that it's ready to use and you can see now it's moved it's moved on the right hand side and it's moved in if you're if you don't believe that it's moved in and you're not sure that it's moved in go back to your 75 just change the number to 55 see that it, you can see that it's moved in again okay so you know that's your container and your container is now functioning okay so it's functioning how it's and it's a responsive one because it will change with a mobile phone exactly what they said if it's got a mobile device or anything that will change it will change anyway if, if regardless if you do put that in or not because how internet works nowadays it will shrink and it will grow so uh, accordingly that's how they've made Bing and that's how they've made Edge or that's how they've made Google Chrome so everything will work for you anyway now inside the index box we've got one more thing to add in underneath our last break before our body we have to put our footer we go back to W3 schools scroll down until you see the word footer that's the information that we need we know that's a footer we can see it here we don't need to do try it ourselves um, we're going to click on try it ourselves have it ready for us try it ourselves is now open and it's ready okay so when we need to look down at the bottom for something we'll be able to find out how they called for it and then we can place it in now but before the body before the closed body is on line 28 I'm gonna place my footer that's my footer and that's the color that I've got for my footer I'm also gonna press save I've done a lot of work here so let me just press save it says save plunker says save I haven't lost any work that's good now I'll go back to try it ourselves how did I call for it how did we call for it it said it right at the bottom there it is div class equals footer that's how we call for it we take it right click we copy and we we'll paste well we can paste that inside the index.html because the div is we're talking now regarding our HTML we're going to take it across oh look I have pasted um, in a rush I have pasted my CS uh, style in the wrong area okay so this is my footer that's been taken into the wrong area because that's in my index.html and not you may have spotted that and been getting hey man stop slow down you, you put it in the wrong place style.css I'm gonna put it in line 59 bring it back down here so as you can see we can all make mistakes when we're rushing creating a video for people or uh, you know for, for people to be able to use to, to get on with their work to be able to finish their work it's fine we, we all make our mistakes now I haven't got it saved anymore so I've got to go and get it so let me go grab it div class equals foot so I'm calling for this action now copy take it back into plunker I'm gonna still call it plunker All right and then there's our footer that's our footer information as you see it's at the bottom there uh, sitting pretty now in your footer we don't actually have the word footer okay you can you 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 have information that you put in so like for me I will say like um, this website has been created for the for their digital skills learners 2020 bang that's me <laughs> that's it done that's all you needed to do that's you you grab that information you press save and now you've got the CS style sheet that has a container that has the links and everything but your issue is now is it fluid I click on that whoa it's there okay now the reason why that's there is because top nav should be which is on line 15 
sitting on everybody's page so if I click on photo I got 15 I, I would have copied and I would have pasted it here but this is because I had it here earlier in video it should be again above the links sitting there and it should be a closed div underneath it so in every one of them there should be a closed div happening underneath them in your contacts the closed div should be sitting there as well now you don't have to have um, you know um, everything taking place like the responsive area you just needed it to happen in one point just to make sure that you knew how to do it if you want to put it in each area then place it in each area okay so that's the column that's the column that I've got here you could place it above the the picture so if I I can just do that for you now I know that I've got to open it I need to open it I go to my photos and then let's see my photo area is here if I place that here I still need to close it I will still need to close that area off and div and as you can see it's just that simple to make something start working for you look I have no footer in page 20 uh, on line 29 I need to go back to my index page and that's all I need is the same type of coding I just need to copy it and paste it across I don't need to write all the big story I just take it across copy and paste video page go down to my bottom my my closed bodies there I paste my footer in there that means all my pages now should be starting to look similar my home page my my this see this is saying home this is on my photo page so I do know that I need to make a change and to make it look how it's supposed to look I'm gonna take this information here because that is how I'm calling for it apologies for that just picked up a link accidentally Co copy if I go to my that page here it says home but we know that this is the photo page so now we, we change this to photo and it's just about keeping it simple so that's now my photo page this is now call for I've got two divs there so I know that's a mistake having two I just removed one that's fine I've called for it it's done so let's go and have a look video there's no there's no information in video that's why there's that's why that looks like that so just to avoid it looking like that because I haven't got anything there I can just put a break in there and hopefully that starts to mature look a little bit better yeah, but I can embed a video from YouTube, just embed a video inside like you're supposed to have done in contacts, the same thing. But it's just knowing where you've got to place everything. Just knowing we are placing everything where it needs to be. Okay, so like I've got, just double check your spelling. If I had capital letters on that one, then I need to have it on the next one. Just check all your pages, make sure it's nice and fluid as, it's, as they said then as they say style CSS why is it used now all these colors it's gray is gray a nice color um, it can be it can be dull it can be dull looking you know you can stop here if you if you've had enough because you've got enough information to go and finish your work but if you need to continue you go to your colors and you can start changing your colors you can go look at your header start off of your header go to your header go over the, hover over the top of it and you can just select a different color make it if it's if it's light with the purple just make it light so you can see the writing still you still want to see your writing now the question is how would you get this color again so I would highlight this this area I'd highlight the whole of this area and copy it now you can right click or you can press control C of copying you go down to your footer you want it all to be the same control V there you go now what happens is you click on each page as simple as that 
as simple as that you didn't need to go through every page and all your photos your videos and stuff to make the changes you made one change in one place and it changed everything well good luck everyone I hope this video helped